Why is math important? Um, this question I've been asked a lot, and uh, depending on who's asking me this question, you know, how well I know them, how long I've known them, uh, you know, what kind of tone they're using to ask this question. Is it a sarcastic tone? Is it a really inquisitive term, tone? Do they really want to know why mathematics is important and why they should spend so much time learning the language of mathematics, right? So depending on you know, a fair bit of criteria, I sort of gauge the situation and I provide different types of answers for different people, type of people that are asking me this question, right? And it's, 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 it's a very personal question, you know, it it's really basically comes down to why is mathematics important to you? Why is it important to me? Right? Now putting all the personal answers aside as to why mathematics is important to you or to me individually, if we look at it as to why mathematics is important to us human beings as a species, it really just breaks down into mathematics is a vital step in our evolution. We developed the language of mathematics so we could do more intricate problems, so we could understand more about the world around us. Right? Mathematics was developed so that we could optimize our ability to create and to interact with the world. Basically, mathematics is the language that we've come up with to be able to look at the world in an analytical form, to look at the world and try to figure out how the world works, try to optimize what we're able to create. The language of mathematics that we're using right now, all the symbols, everything we know about mathematics was, you know, it didn't come about, you know, in a week or a day or a year. It was built slowly from certain rules that we came up with, right? Certain facts that we knew about the world. And from there, we built sort of a language, syntax, right? And on top of that, we started, you know, experimenting and, you know, messing around with the language, taking a little bit over here, a little bit over here, and combining them, and trying to figure out if, you know, the result, what was being told through the language, was what was happening in the world, right? Sometimes it was true, sometimes it was not. Sometimes we didn't really know what we were coming across, what the language was revealing, until much later, sometimes years later, sometimes weeks later, sometimes decades or centuries later, we really understood, began to understand the power of what was being revealed to us, right? And from there, slowly, we were able to, you know, build more intricate models of what the world is like, both through experimentation and through hypothesizing, right, based on certain assumptions and combining different rules and different laws that we know to see what the language was revealing to us from, you know, the important of prime numbers and how we're able to utilize prime numbers and technology right now to the you know the the full spectrum of uh, the electro electromagnetic radiation light basically right because right now what we see through our eyes is only a small fraction of what all the information contained in light is right to the basic fundamental building blocks of what we believe this reality to be made out of, to life to be made out of, right? From quantum mechanics to black holes, measuring the smallest thing in the universe to the largest thing in the universe. From Max Planck discovering that information, energy came to us in packets and thinking that it was just a mathematical trick, to us, you know, finally realizing through quantum mechanics that no, you know, life, information, you know, energy comes to us in packets is released in packets, right? Mathematics has revealed basically the most fundamental things that we know about the universe before we were able to actually measure that information, right? Before we were able to actually interact with that, with, with that part of reality, right? Mathematics is basically our way of trying to understand the world, right? So it was a vital step in evolution. And not only was it a vital step in our evolution in us understanding what the world contains and how we can interact with it, it's, it was a vital step in, in evolution in directing us down a certain path, right? Because mathematics, as soon as we're able to discover all these things about reality and build all these instruments to, you know, interact with the world and you know, create buildings and come up with cars and, you know, create wheels, four wheels that were exactly identical so you could put it on a car where, you know, if you're driving, the car is not wobbly, it's all 
it's all it's all synced, right? You're driving a smooth car to building our roads to you know making our clothes to everything that we have in the world in the world right now that is man-made that is not part of the natural ecosystem at its base at its core is brought to us through mathematics okay so math didn't just reveal all this information to us it was not just a vital step in our evolution in trying to understand the world around us it was a vital step in evolution in getting us to interact with the world. So mathematics has really set us on the path that we're on right now. And mathematics is going to see us into the future, right? So mathematics is basically directing us to where we're going, to how human beings, we are interacting with the world, to what we're able to create, to how we're, how we're socially interacting with each other, to the systems, to the economic systems, to the political systems that we're building, to the scientific models that we're creating, to us you know, being, being able to explore ocean depths, to us being able to you know, go into space and look at the, you know, look at the universe and try to understand how the universe came to be and how we can, you know, go beyond our, you know, little world that we live on, as, you know, Carl Sagan would say, this little blue dot that we live on right now, right? So mathematics is basically part of us. It is, it is, it, it is directing us. It is, it is an essential part of what human beings are. If we remove the language of mathematics from who we are, then, you know, we become an empty shell. We become, you know, we, we descend into the dark ages. You, we wouldn't be able to communicate the way we are. We wouldn't be able to look to the future the way we are. We wouldn't be able to learn from the past the way we are. Maybe from exploring the field of calculus where it basically is, is our way of interacting with time, looking at change, right? To, you know, probably in this probability and statistics, which is our way of be, be, being able to recognize patterns, right? To our way of, you know, just, you know, the, the, the field of algebra and problem solving, which is our way of basically optimizing the way we behave with the world and what we're able to create. So why mathematics is important? Because mathematics is, is who we are. It's, it's what we are and how we're able to you know, what defines us as human beings. It, it is the language we have developed to be able to do more intricate problems that we were born to do, right? To ask the right questions, to be able to answer the right questions, okay? And that's what mathematics is really about. So if you're, if you're thinking about, you know, why you should learn the language of mathematics, the reason you should spend the time to learn mathematics is because mathematics is a part of you. It's, it's a basic fundamental belief that mathematics is, is an innate human ability. We're hardwired for mathematics, right? Just like we're hardwired to make music, to appreciate music, we're hardwired to do mathematics, right? And the language of mathematics was an essential you know, the essential step in our evolution. It was inevitable that we would come up with a language to be able to interact with the world as best as we could, right? So why math is important? Math is important because we're important. It's, it's a part of us. It's how we're able to, you know, come to the state that we are in and it's, it's part of what's going to see us into the future. It's the only thing that's going to see us into the future. Right? When it comes to sustainability, when it comes to equality, when it comes to interacting with the world in the most optimum way that we can, because that's the only thing we can do. That's the only only thing that will see us into the future, right? Waste not. Okay? If we remove mathematics from us human beings, then we remove a and a very important part of who we are, right? It's just like removing our ability to enjoy music, to create music. It's removing our ability to be able to speak, to be able to communicate in natural languages, right? If we, we remove mathematics from human beings, from who we are, then, you know, we just become a, you know, a shell that, that is missing an essential part of what makes us human, what makes us who we are.
Okay, and that's that's as basic as it gets as to why mathematics is important. As to why math is important to you personally, well, that's that, that's a question that only you can answer once once you learn the language of mathematics, right? Once you become literate in the language of mathematics, you know, it's the same type of question as asking yourself why music is important to you, why being able to read and write is important to you, right? Once you learn the language of mathematics. The answer becomes self-evident as to why math is important to you as, a, as an individual, right? As a species, we wouldn't be here right now if we didn't have mathematics. The world would not be the way it is if we didn't have math mathematics, right? And just one thing to keep in mind, mathematics is a language, right? It can be used to do good, it can be used to do bad. It can use, be used to say good things, it can be used to say bad things, right? And it's up to you how you decide to use that language. So once you learn mathematics, you know, take it into your heart and figure out what it is that you want to do with mathematics, how you're going to use math to optimize your life, how you're going to use math to be able to create, how you're going to use math to be able to destroy if you want to destroy, how you're going to use mathematics to be able to communicate to, uh, you know, to, to others, how you're going to use math to improve your life, okay? And that is, again, a personal decision that you're going to have to make once you learn the language of mathematics. If you don't know mathematics, then you're missing an essential part of what makes us human beings. And that's why it's important to learn mathematics, because mathematics is a part of you. It's in your DNA. You're hardwired to do mathematics. And it's really important to learn the syntax, the language that we've come up with to optimize our ability to do mathematics. Okay, I hope that answers your question as to uh, why math is important to us as a species. Why math is important to you? You're the only person that can answer that. Why math is important to me? Well, I, I, I can't even imagine what my life would be like without mathematics. It would be, it would be brutal, uh, is my only assumption, okay? And I'm really, you know, glad that I, I, you know, I spent a lot of time learning math and it was hard work and there were times where, you know, I was pulling out my hair and, uh, you know, uh, you know, banging my head against the wall, you know, going, why am I doing this? But, you know, after going through it, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a much better person for it and I'm able to interact with the world in the in the way that I really want to interact with the world, right? It has helped me optimize my ability to interact with the world, to, in the material world, the social world, and it's helped me able to, you know, to be able to create what I want to create, okay? So I hope, uh, you know, I hope, I hope you take to heart and you really think about why it is that you're trying to learn the language of mathematics, which is basically the best language that we've been able to come up with so far to be able to interact with the world around us and to be able to optimize our innate ability or, you know, what we're hardwired to do, okay? See you guys in the next videos. Bye for now.